Oh, you missed the sneeze. <laughs> How would you feel about blank checks? <laughs> have I ever done it? Wait, have you done it? Guess what? What? We get to see a two week old, well, baby. What? Yes, let's go do it. Hello, hello, oh my goodness. <gasps> Two-week visit, oh my goodness. Hi. Now two-week-olds don't usually smile, although every once in a while you never know. You might get lucky. You might get lucky. You might get lucky. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we got one. That was a little smirk. A two-week-old smirk. So how's it going? Very good. Good. Yeah. Uh, tell me about the feeding. Um, he feeds every couple hours and yeah. he's got a really good appetite, great latch. Perfect. And, Is uh, it just breast only? Yes. Okay, if you want, you nurse, nurse, pump, or nurse, pump, get enough for a full feeding, which, by the way, how much can a baby eat? It's about the size of their fist. It's about one ounce for every kilo of their weight. So I'm thinking if you pump and you've got a three ounce, three to four ounces saved, okay. that's more than enough for somebody else to do a feeding for you while maybe you take a nap. Okay, and how long can it be in the fridge? So you can be at room temperature for two to four hours. You can be in the fridge for two to four days. Okay. You can be in the freezer for months. Okay. Yeah. Right. So it's really important if your partner is busy nursing, you got to find a way to give them a break. I like by two weeks, uh, your partner, if you've got somebody that'll do this for you, they send you to bed early and they stay at, take the baby to the other room. You mm -hmm. go to bed, close the door, put some white noise on so you can't hear the baby because you're so <laughs> tuned into the baby. Yes. <laughs> Just create enough noise so you're not gonna hear the baby. And your partner will have that bottle to stay up with the baby for two, three hours and do a feeding. Okay. If you went to bed at eight or nine, they do that next feeding at 10, 11, or 12, slide the baby next to you, and now they go to bed. By the time you wake up for the middle of the night feeding, you've mm -hmm. had five, six hours. Right. Wouldn't that be nice? That would be good. <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> or partners, if you just are not a late night person, then do it on the other end. Mm -hmm. Get up early, slide the baby to the other room to allow you to sleep in. And then do a feeding before you go off to work if that's your routine. Mm -hmm. So something to give you a break. Yeah. Fantastic. We're yeah. shooting for an ounce a day weight gain. And in the last 10 days, we've gained exactly 10 ounces. Great. So that's awesome. And if you are out there struggling with the weight gain, you've got to get at least a half an ounce, right? If you're not getting a half an ounce a day, you've got to do something, something different, because you, you just have to get at least a half an ounce a day weight gain. Your goal is an ounce a day. If it's more at this stage, don't even worry about it. It's fine. And um, obviously breastfeed if you can, because it's just, I heard that cow's milk was for calves. Uh, yes, yeah. I've heard that too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. No, if you absolutely have to use formula, like if you can't get donor milk and you need to supplement, I don't want you to feel bad. That guy behind the camera got formula. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you. I know, nobody likes their ears looked at. There we go. Ears look good. We're going to look at your tongue. So nice under the tongue, nice long um, tongue. It's not, a, a, so many tongues are attached really near the front of the tongue. So I imagine that's helped with the nursing that he's got a good tongue, it moves nicely. We're gonna, I'm gonna briefly look at his red reflex, which is just looking at the back of the eyeball and getting a red flash through the pupil. Come on, there we go, there we go. All right. The soft spot's fine, the little plates. Of, sometimes at, in the newborn and, and by two weeks, there's little overlaps. If you feel little ridges, mm -hmm. the, the plates are still overlapping. If you see my fingers like this overlapping, and then as the head grows, they kind of loosen up like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what a cute baby. This is a little breast bud. You can kind of feel a mass there. It's about the size of a garbanzo bean, maybe under that nipple as well. That's normal. Boys and girls. What are you listening for? So I'm listening for heart murmurs. So just to finish up about breast buds, um, you can see that's a little mass between my fingers there. Uh, that is actual breast tissue. And 
Babies in the womb are exposed to the same hormones that their moms were exposed to. And um, they, their body thinks they're supposed to make milk too. So you know how your breasts were preparing to make milk and the changes you went through while well, they're doing the same thing. They'll go down. They can last for a few weeks. It can last even as long as two, three years. Um, it just depends, but totally normal. And uh, you can just leave it alone. It's no big deal. I usually bend the legs and wiggle so that the stomach will relax and I can get my fingers in there and just feel for masses, which I almost never find anything with this part of my exam. But if you had an enlarged kidney or some abdominal mass, you might pick it up. Uh, I'm gonna end with the umbilical cord, cleaning that up. I'm just gonna feel for femoral pulses. And there it is. The femoral pulse tells me that the blood flow from the heart around the aorta and to the extremities is normal. And then I'm gonna check the hips, which is just a, trying to dislocate the hips out of their socket and they're in there nice and tight. If the socket is like this and it's going clunk, clunk, then that socket will develop way too loose and big and that's somebody who's always throwing their hip out later on in life. So it's, it's really important to pick that up when you're young. Now I'm using a sterile Q-tip and you'll see on the belly button here we've got some dried blood. We're just gonna go ahead and clean that up. Blood is just irritating to the tissue. Okay. You can kind of see that it's a little irritated in there. You can get in here with a Q-tip. You can get in here with soap and water. Okay. I'll get another dry one and then after you've cleaned it up with a Q-tip, you can get a dry one and you can actually stick it in there. So you'll, you'll see how... So I was worried his diaper kept catching and was making it bleed over and over. Gotcha. It would just catch it, yeah. Mm -hmm. So after you get this all clean, because that redness is just irritation because blood is so irritating. Okay. You can clean it with soap and water on a Q-tip if you want, or just water. Okay. And then get a dry one and just stick it in there and spin it. Okay. Just to dry it. You can see it's a dead end. Okay. People are like, oh, what are you doing? I'm actually putting a little bit of pressure. It doesn't go any further. Okay. It might still have, because you know, the, the babies are attached to mommy through the umbilical cord that comes right through that belly button. Well, there's blood vessels mm -hmm. in that umbilical cord, and sometimes those blood vessels aren't quite coagulated off, which is why we're getting some red blood. Here we are at two weeks and we're still getting a little bit of red blood. So you can actually hold a little pressure like I am here okay. for a couple minutes and that sometimes will just stop it from continuing to ooze red blood. Okay. Don't have to, but you could. Okay. So you can see there's still yeah. some bright, bright red blood on the end of that from where I had it. Okay. There is the availability of doing silver nitrate, which is just a stick that'll cauterize and dry. that in the hospital. Yeah, I, I would almost be tempted to do it, but I kind of don't want to because if I put a silver nitrate stick in there, it's gonna burn all this skin that's already irritated. And I think I'd rather not. Perfect baby, amazing mom. Thank, Thank you. you so much for sharing this two week visit with our viewers mm -hmm. and uh, you're doing awesome. It's all about feeding at this stage. We are going to do folks the newborn screening. It's done in Oregon at right before you leave the hospital and then again at two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, screening for 30 plus different rare conditions that if picked up early, they're treatable and it can prevent chronic problems. So definitely worth doing. You'll get to see actually how that's done. All right. Thanks for watching. Lots of thumbs up for this amazing family. And what a cute baby, huh? All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.